Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out another best gaming monitor, which is the AOC AG352 UC G6. We will see how it stacks up against similar, and newer gaming displays in terms of image quality, performance, design, and value for the price. If you want more information and updated pricing on the product mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. If this is the first time you visiting this channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notifications bell. Okay, so let's get started with the video. Image quality. Based on a VA, vertical alignment, panel, the monitor delivers a superior static contrast ratio of 2500 is to 1 which makes for more vivid black shades and an overall better relation between the darkest and the brightest tones. It also supports true 8-bit color depth and covers 100% of the sRGB color gamut thus ensuring vibrant and stunning colors. The display's luminance maxes out at 300 nits which is plenty for a comfortable viewing experience even in well-lit rooms. In comparison to IPS panel monitors, the AOC AG352 UC G6 doesn't suffer from IPS glow i.e. glowing around the corners of the screen due to excess light passing through the panel. Not only do IPS panels have a lower contrast ratio which results in a lack of depth of black shades, but the IPS glow also makes blacks appear more grayish in dark rooms. VA panel monitors, such as the AOC AG352 UC G6, don't suffer from this which allows you to enjoy true black colors even in dim lit rooms, ideal for watching movies and playing darker games. In addition the two flawless color reproduction, high screen resolution, and solid brightness, the AOC AG352 UC G6 curved monitor delivers an overall amazing picture quality. The 3440 x 1440 resolution on a 35-inch screen display results in the perfect pixel per inch ratio of 106 ppi. There's plenty of screen space while the details are sharp and clear without any scaling necessary. Performance The AOC AG352 UC G6 input lag, the time it takes for a monitor to react and display your commands, is excellent at only 6 milliseconds which is imperceptible to the naked eye. However, the response time, which is the time pixels take to change from one color to another, is not as good. Consequently, there's visible ghosting and smearing of fast-moving objects, especially when there are mainly dark pixels in the image. Nevertheless, the amount of trailing is tolerable as in return, you get such deep black colors. In the OSD, on-screen display, menu, you can set the overdrive setting to off, weak, light, medium, and strong. This setting can improve the response time speed performance and we recommend putting it to medium. If you select strong, inverse ghosting, overshoot, starts to appear which can be more annoying than the initial problem. But, this also varies between games, so choose accordingly. Other than that, there are no issues regarding the monitor. There's minimal backlight bleeding, no dead pixels, and the viewing angles of 178 degrees ensure no drastic shifts in contrast and color when the screen is looked at skewed angles. The screen is flicker-free and has a low blue light filter. While many games support the 21 is to 9 aspect ratio which offers a more immersive gameplay experience with a wider field of view, Unsupported games will leave you with black borders at the sides or with a stretch out picture. So, check whether your favorite games support the 21 is to 9 format. Features If you have an NVIDIA GeForce graphics card GTX 650 Ti or newer, you can enable G-Sync on the AOC AG352 UC G6 monitor. This technology allows the monitor to change its refresh rate dynamically instead of running at a constant 100Hz 120Hz refresh rate. As a result, all screen tearing and stuttering is eliminated with minimal, less than 1 millisecond, input lag penalty. In short, this makes gameplay feel smoother and seamless even at lower frame air rates. Moving on. The AOC AG352 UC G6 G-Sync Gaming Monitor features pre-calibrated picture presets for RTS, FPS, and racing genres as well as one fully customizable gamer profile. 
In order to enable the 120 Hz refresh rate, you will need to select 120 Hz in the overclock option in the OSD settings. After that, make sure to also select 120 Hz in your graphics card settings. The difference between 100 Hz and 120 Hz is subtle but definitely noticeable. In the OSD menu, you will also find the RGB LED settings for the RGB strips at the back of the monitor and beneath its bottom bezel, you can make the LEDs shine in either red, green, or blue color and at different intensity levels, or you can turn it off. Other features include shadow control for better visibility in dark areas of games, three gamma presets, and game color, color saturation. Overall, the OSD menu is user-friendly and easily controlled via the joystick placed beneath the bottom bezel of the monitor. Design and Connectivity The AOC AG352UCG635 curved gaming monitor has a fully black design with reasonably thick bezels and matte finish. Moreover, the stand is robust and versatile with up to 110mm height adjustment, dash slash plus 30 degrees swivel, dash 5 degree slash 28 degree tilt, and 100 x 100 mm VESA mount compatibility. There's also a headset hook and a handle for carrying. Turning to the connectivity, you will find an HDMI 1.4B, 3440 x 1440 at 50 Hz max, and a DisplayPort 1.2 for 3440 x 1440 at 120 Hz and G-Sync. Other ports include a microphone jack, a headphones jack, a line-in for the 2X2W built-in speakers, and a dual USB 3.0 hub with one upstream and two downstream, one with fast charging, ports. Conclusion Overall the AOC AG352UCG6 offers outstanding image quality and smooth performance. Although there are some issues with ghosting, it's tolerable considering it's a VA panel display. Thanks for watching the video. If you find this video helpful please help out the channel by giving this video a like or subscribe the channel and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below.